Okay, today is the day we are finally painting the Corvette and my paint design is going to be revealed. I wanna work up to how we got to where we are now with what we are going to be painting on the car. So originally, the mint on the Corvette really, really, really grew on me. Originally, I wanted to do a mint fade. Mint to maybe pink to then purple. So House of Color did some spray out samples for me and we started with this, so we have a lighter version and a darker version, but then Mike Taylor, House of Color, painter, in-house formulator, he sent me some more samples and he convinced me to change my mind. He did these samples, so if you look at this, this is a purple to blue fade and there's one that has blue pearl, there's one that has prism overlaid it which is a house of color effect, and then there's one with nothing. Different. Let's put it in the sun. Let's put it in the sun, girl, right here. here. So if you look in the sun. There we go. This one's prism. Yeah, this is the prism effect. Oh, there we go. This is blue pearl, and then this is no pearl at all. This is just the color. So these are amazing. This is actually very similar to the color blue that I have on the three rotor car. So Mike whipped these up and sent them my way. So then I had to decide, okay, do I want mint fade? Or do I want this? But then he threw another purple. He threw another fade into the mix and it changed everything. I completely changed my mind on what I wanted and was convinced to go even wilder, which it's been a long time, I think, since anyone's convinced me to go wilder than I was already planning to go. This is the fade that Mike came up with. This is insane. Look how many colors this is. It's a fade made from like three primary colors, but it's a full spectrum neon yellow, house of color chartreuse neon to purple. I absolutely fell in love. This reminds me of a beautiful sunset. This actually looks like a lot of the sunset stuff that we did for the house of preline a while back, but I saw this and I knew I had to have this fade on the Corvette, which is very, very different from what I was imagining for that car in the beginning. Like I said, I really, really wanted mint. And now I'm gonna do this. This is freaking wild. I don't know if we can show you the difference there now we go. too of the different pearls. So this has blue pearl on it. This has the prism effect. And then this has nothing. It's just the neon colors. And I'll show you this side as well. You can kind of see the prism and blue pearl a lot more on the purple side of it. Ooh, wait here, I'll just hold these out. Can you go around? Can you see them? Yes, yeah, so this is the prism and then the blue prism. It is so beautiful. Blue. So ultimately, after I got all these samples back, I was looking at them every single day for like a week, and I landed on these two. I cannot decide if I wanted the prism effect or the blue pearl. The only drawback from the blue pearl is that I felt like it took away some of the neon of the neon yellow. It's, it's really not really showing up on camera either as neon, but it is neon. Yeah, it's really hard to see, but I feel like the blue pearl like, kind of took away some of the vibrancy of the neon yellow, but just very, very slightly. But I love the blue pearl on top of all the other colors. I still have not decided what effect I'm going to put over this or what pearl. I'm gonna kinda of just see what the car looks like once it's sprayed and then make my decision like last minute before we actually spray it. I love this, Mike did an amazing job. This is such a cool fade. I have a huge challenge ahead of myself. Like this is gonna be my first like proper paint job and I'm basically learning with like the hardest thing that you can try and do. This will be a very interesting day. I'm going to be learning how to paint my car but also do a wild fade job with House of Color. This is actually all neons as well, so it's part of their neon lineup, starting with the neon chartreuse, and we actually got this purple by mixing their neon blue with the pink. So this is mostly neon blue, neon pink, and chartreuse, and the orange is a mixture of these two, and then the purple is actually a mixture of their neon blue with the pink. So you're gonna see that today, how we're doing the overlapping. This is it. This is freaking wild. I am pumped for the Corvette to have this insane paint job and hopefully I can pull it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah, flex, 
I just wanna win, yeah L.A.B.B. who we running with, yeah 2 2 3, three I'm on 10 again, yeah State your name, big been dope on flame I just switched the lanes, damn he did it again I just flipped the pain, stripping and dipping in bass Slab on everything Swimming, you sinking away Cause I got big racks coming I put my low racks on it I ain't skip past losses I had to get back off it See the fit lab on it until they win Okay, so everything that we have primed in the previous video Mike got here and sanded all that down So with their primers If you don't end up laying the other coats of paint on top of it Within usually four hours Then you're supposed to sand it down Cause it starts to get a little bit of a gritty film on it So just make sure if you're doing it later You sand it all down Guys like myself, I keep everything Dick and Jane. Very, very simplified. Very elementary. Dick and Jane? Yes. Dick and Jane. You don't remember reading those books in elementary school? Okay. I'm <laughs> dating myself. Pops of Color Guys got Chris a little present. behind the simplicity of House of Color paint is Dick and Jane. And I'm gonna give you an example of how simple. Look Dick, see Puff jump. Oh look, look and see. See Puff jump and play. <laughs> right now I'm just trying to find all the product that we're going to need for today and lay it out. And this is what I am still stuck on and I haven't made a decision for. We got our blue effects here, our blue pearl, and then we have our prism effects, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. And then this is nothing, and then our blue pearl is right here. I really feel like the blue pearl shines the best when it's in like natural sunlight. Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. That will be one of the very, very last things that I have to decide on. We'll have the whole car painted and we'll be doing effects last. Look what Tom from House of Color brought us this morning. Brand new House of Color Sada collab guns. These are so cool. These actually haven't even officially dropped yet from House of Color, but they will be soon. They're special edition collab celebrating the 65th anniversary of House of Color. And we got a smaller one there. This is awesome. Our work area is set up. So we're gonna be using our medium reducer today for pretty much everything. Here are our two effects that I ultimately have to decide which one I wanna use. We have all of our neons that we're going to be using today from a neon pink to our chartreuse, the ultimate color in the entire world. And we have our neon blue. For our base primer sealer coat, we're gonna be using their white with the KDA 3000 hardener. So we're gonna be doing that first, actually. And because there's already some primer on the car, you know, the car is pretty well sorted now. We're not worried about a really, really thick, high build. So we're mostly gonna be using this as a sealer, not so much a high build primer for when we go in with this color. We have our clear over here. We're using the UC21. So this is one of their stronger ones we're gonna be using with the KU152 catalyst or hardener. But we're getting close to game time.
letting each one dry fully before we apply the second coat. Uh, and we're moving stuff around as we go just because there's not a ton of room in there. First piece is painted. Wish me luck. It's very stressful, but it's starting to feel more and more natural the more that I do it. Um, you just don't want to lay it on too thick, too fast. Just remember, first coat, light, lay it on there, and then come back in with the second one. Gotta stay energized. Wish me luck. Wait, that's crazy. 